Hello, hello, hello. What's up, fellas? What's up, ladies? What's going on, beautiful people? United States of America and around the world. It's Bitcoin Calvin here. Um, you know, I just wanted to come on and hop on this uh, video and just talking about really what is going on uh, with um, uh, Tron case, guys. I'm going to be straight up honest. Um, for you guys that are in the Facebook group, you know that Tron case is at a zero balance right now. Unfortunately, I don't know how this is the case. Um, you know, they are a smart contract. Uh, honestly, I'm not surprised that this happened. I thought this would happen more in the future. Um, according to this investment opportunity, right? So all investments risk guys, right? So we know that, and I let you guys know that obviously, and I'm not a financial advisor or anything. I'm just sharing you guys my experience, but the experience is now, and hopefully you guys didn't put any money into this. And um, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was promoting it. And I was promoting even yesterday too, and got paid yesterday. But even today, what happened today was, is that now, there's zero balance in the smart contract, right? So all of the money is gone, right? And that that is ridiculous, right? Um, I I really believed in the team what these guys were promoting. Lots of people did. I know we all did. Uh, but this is exactly why I even tell you guys. Um, I let you know anybody who I'm talking to know. I I even myself, I'm not even going to say I myself diversify, okay? I diversify uh, in, in in different asset classes, right? Uh, crypto, stocks, and, and, and other things. So I have different investment seeds to, 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 to say the least, right? So it's always good to diversify. So there's different platforms that I've been, you know, sharing with you guys as well, too. Um, the ones that are really holding up right now are Hyperfund and Daisy. I don't think those are going uh, away anytime soon. You guys know I'm pretty strong on Hyperfund. You guys know my position on that. You also guys, you guys know my position on Daisy, on the reasons why I um, support the team. I really believe in their project, and I don't think it's going to go uh you know i don't think it's going to go away anytime soon right plus these guys are registered these guys have actual exchanges these guys have businesses these guys have legal contracts with governments uh with hyperfund and ryan Ju and sam lee guys if you do the research as well plus with daisy as well too they're partnered with endotech which is a huge uh one of the biggest financial tech companies uh you know globally right now too so those um, these investments, I don't doubt them for the long term. This Tron case, in the back of my mind in the beginning, I did doubt it, but it was so good that one, it was a smart contract, right? So when I started, we started about like four months ago, right? And I started pretty early with Tron case. When it first, I started like within the first couple of weeks, right? So in the, the smart contract, it was getting filled up and it was nice. It was going good. It was paying good. Uh, every four seconds, it was exciting. And it was nice, right? Uh, personally, I have, I was, I've, already made my money back plus profit i've made money in tron case okay um you know so technically i didn't lose anything i i'm on the game right the only thing now is that this car this smart contract has collapsed and now for people that have invested later on into the game right instead of getting in early they experienced loss right so in permanent loss and they're not going to get those funds back right so um you know they're the team they're they're in the facebook quote they're in the facebook group they're quote unquote saying that um you know the whole team right they're they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on and i don't believe that for one second guys okay i don't believe that for one second so if you put in money in a tron case you lost a lot i'm sorry but you know you have to mediate your risk right it is it was going good but you have to think about it too because there's over a billion tron in the smart contract just generating right um 
secondly, the you know, secondly, um, there wasn't really a huge, uh, a, a very clear unison team where they had, you know, just like Daisy, right? They have, uh, you know, YouTube calls, they have a Telegram group, they have all these stuff, right? With Tron case, these guys seemed like they didn't have a track record. With Daisy, you can verify the track record through Endotech. With Tron case, you cannot verify a track record because these guys were new coming into the field, coming into the space where they say, okay, you know, we have a team of new software development coders and we're going to develop a smart contract. And they know what they're doing in the back end. Most of us, we're entering the space, right? We don't have blockchain technology, you know, knowledge where we know how to code on the blockchain. Maybe some of us do, but most of us don't. We understand the basic mechanisms, but we don't understand the full scope of the specificity of what goes down, right? So, I mean, you can, but it really takes a long time and you, that, that requires very rigorous training, which most people, guys, are not going to do. This thing was very easy. If you presented this to the average person, of course, most people would be like, oh, this sounds good. This looks good. So let's put money in there and let's have it just sit there and grow. Right. Honestly, I, I referred somebody I really knew close to me yesterday, almost put money in it. But thank God they didn't. Uh, because it's their first time setting up, so they didn't, they weren't able to get Tron. It was hard for them to get Tron, so they didn't put money in it, which was awesome, you know. But hey, guys, it is what it is. Um, this happens, you know. You're gonna lose. Um, luckily, with this, you know, I put in my deposit. You know, I put in close to seven hundred. I got, I got all that back, plus way more. I think like a few thousand. Um, you know with Tron case. I mean, it was just growing, honestly. So if you started early, you definitely would have gained the profits. You know, if you came in big, you started early, you definitely would have came in. But stuff like this, guys, again, it does happen uh, within the crypto space. So that's why you have to do your research uh, diligently. Uh, the third, uh, the third or fourth reason why I think, yeah, this is the fourth reason why, um, you know, uh, I, I really kind of question Tron case guys, uh, you know, these, their whole, uh, setup, how they said, oh, we are going, if, if Tron case goes down now, if these guys don't fix Tron case guys, I would not trust uh coin swap, right? I would not trust coin swap space because the reason why is because the same team that developed Tron case is in partnered with there's the same team that actually developed uh coin swap space right so this is another DeFi protocol where again these guys set up their own token there's not really a huge use case guys usually with cryptocurrency there is a use case there is a project behind it with css it would have been tron case and if tron case is not the project they have no use case and they're probably gonna uh do something kind of sketchy with this d5 protocol as well too so i also took all my money out of css and coin swap i cashed out like a month ago you know the total value locked up is 17.3 million as well too um you know and that's that that's a good lock up like you can probably still you know lock up your css and still earn chain link and ethereum but i would try to earn it as fast as possible and park your money somewhere else this is still a very new protocol um they're just trying to piece and, and put things together they may be even trying to buy yahoo finance ads or whatever honestly guys you know if if these guys run off with tron case i would not trust these guys and again i don't want to bash anyone but once you start messing with people's money i mean people are going to really uh really see who you are and do research and it's going to come to bite you in the ass you know so just be careful guys um you know, I would take your money probably out of uh, I would take your money out of coin swap, too. So, you know, that was their plan, guys. Their old plan was, you know, get Tron case, get the fees and everything, especially from coin swap space, uh, you know, refund each platforms, making sure they're stronger. But if nothing's in the contract, 
what the hell they're doing or if they're not looking to develop a new one what the hell is going on so you know that's definitely my opinion um you know and that's what i want you guys to, to that's what i want you that's what i want to let you guys know um and uh you know you know if you put in lots of money guys it's you know you know just take a loss you have to learn how to take a loss in investments that's that's just how the game goes uh you take a loss in sports you take a loss in anything guys right so you have to learn how to just take this loss um and then move on to the next one right so and if you did make money that's good um obviously there's other opportunities that you know uh you'll see but for me i mean obviously the two ones that i see that are holding strong um, that I'll continue to be supporting in my positions as well as Daisy and Hyperfund, uh, very great projects. Um, and also, um, you know, really just participating in actual, uh, you know, uh, popular yield farms such as Pancake Swap. I'm probably just going to be staking some pancakes cake i might be staking and earning pancake uh probably participate in some liquidity pools um earning over 200 percent apr in the year um, which i think is much safer right if we're thinking about risky um, this is definitely low low risk Pancake swaps not going anywhere it's funded over 10 billion dollars and that's not like 1 billion tron it's like 50 million dollars this is 10 billion dollars worth that these guys have actual funding. Uh, liquidity pools staking all you know across the board um and these guys lots of different projects lots of different projects are uh uh DeFi space are supporting in different functionalities and actual use cases guys css has no use case it doesn't actually perform anything it's not like a derivative or anything it's not like um or it's not like a uh uh, uh um, like a protocol that can, uh, like an Oracle, like Chainlink. Uh, it's not anything that can perform anything on the blockchain that can lower fees or store files or anything like Filecoin on the exchange. It doesn't have any use case, guys. Usually these coins and everything in tokens, they have actual use cases. So, um, you know, that is pretty much what it is. Right? So definitely, guys, do your research. Right. So uh, with any of these uh, coins, too, I definitely go ahead like the research on it, like the protocol. I do research on lean. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to be uh, mining and providing liquidity to lean. Uh, options and those are real too. Uh, verified also on the dairy protocol. And, um, you know, these different protocols actually have use cases, guys. So you have to look into them um you know and and really do your research you know do your research right so if you get a coin like x and you see it's earning over uh 200 percent don't just say oh it's earning 200 percent go into uh wex right so you'll see you can see the contract there it's verified go into google and type in you know what is wex you'll see it's actually Walt Finance, you know, and you'll see the use case and what they do and who they are and everything like that, right? Go through their white paper, go through what they actually do, what services uh, uh, do they provide, and then make your decision, right? So that's how you should be uh, doing your analysis. That's exactly how I do my analysis. Um, that's exactly, you know, you know how i do analysis on a lot of things right so and another thing too guys if a protocol uh or a coin right if they don't have like a white paper or roadmap or even uh, anything like that um i would probably stay away right and if it doesn't make sense you know move on to the next one if it's not listed on coin market cap like in the top a thousand coins or the top 500 i'd probably leave it alone you know because you're getting more riskier and riskier um is the cryptocurrency gonna stay a long ride you know stay a you know staying a long time or not right so definitely uh keep those in mind right <clears throat> so initially guys we we're talking about tron case i'm pretty disappointed um, you know, I had pretty big plans with Tron case. I was already making guys like, you know, at least, you know, 350 a week, you know, almost 400 a week, guys, some weeks, you know, a Tron case, like, 
every single week. Toronto was just growing, you know, and it was great. Cashing out, like, was awesome, right? And I told you I put 700. Like, if you do the math, like, it only.